Developing story on the Stanford campus, part of a building lockdown after a law professor received a threatening message with a suspicious powder inside. KPIX 5's Kit Doe just spoke to the professor who says she's been a target of threats like this for weeks. Kit? Yes, it was a former student who actually opened the letter. It looked pretty friendly at first, possibly some kind of a party invitation or a thank you card. It even had decorative gold foil on it, but when they opened it up, that's when they knew to call 911. Now, that's when the fire department showed up with a hazmat team. They shut down several classrooms of Stanford Law's Newcomb building. Crews tested the white powder, and it came back as an inert substance. Now, sources tell us it might have been baby powder. Now, the text of that threat said this, since you are going to disrobe Persky, I am going to treat you like Emily Doe. Now, Emily Doe is the pseudonym, pseudonym given to the victim in the Brock Turner sexual assault case. Now, today's threat is exactly the same wording from the mailed rape threat that Michelle Dauber got last week, but that time it was filled with glitter. Stanford professor Michelle Dauber is leading the recall Persky campaign. She says she's gotten dozens of threats for her to lose her job or get raped herself. The recall campaign is not going to be intimidated. We are going to continue to stand with sexual assault survivors. We're going to continue our campaign. And I really call upon Judge Persky's campaign to stop the personal attacks on me and on Emily Doe and to accept the electoral process and participate in it fairly without all the personal attacks. And so that former student, after uh, she opened up the letter, she calmly put it in a Ziploc bag, washed her hands, and then called police. As for the professor, she went right on teaching her class and did not cancel that lecture. And we're live at Stanford University. Kit Doe, KPIX 5.